You can do it! Come on! Come on, Nana! Come on! You can do it! Nana! Oh no! Nana, no! Come on, Nana! You can do it! Faster! Go faster! Brains! No! Nana! Go faster! Hurry! Brains! And that's why you don't see many old people in zombie movies. Now, let's just freeze this, shall we? We've all seen the reports. We we know that. I said stop that! Off! Get off the stage! Rains. Now, as I was saying, we've all seen the reports of the inventable upcoming zombie apocalypse. It's only a matter of time, folks. Now... Wait, stop right there. We all know that there's no such thing as zombies. They're imaginary, just like Miley Cyrus. Really? Is that, is that why the government spent $10 million preparing for it? Seriously? Yep, true fact. And do you think our federal government would squander hard-earned tax dollars from all these loyal citizens without a very good reason? Wow, you've got a point there. I don't think it's possible that the government would ever waste money. I think you're right. Hey, where do you get those rodents, rodent strains you're wearing? They make them in China. Great. Really get the snack on when you're feeling peckish. Awesome. Now, as I was saying, we're here to present a public service to you, the audience. How to survive when civilization collapses and, and the animated corpses of your neighbors try to hunt you down and devour your sweet, warm, living flesh. Makes a great gift for the holidays. Hey, so where are these zombies coming from anyway? Global warming. Makes sense. Method 1. Sacrifice the weak. Come on, once we make that ridge, then we'll have a good advantage point. It's no use! We're all gonna die! Snap out of it, Asia! I love you! I just met you! I must warn you, I fall in love quickly, and then I fall out of, out of love equally quickly. Then, I guess I could try to love you, but- Wait, I moved on. Come on, people! Ugh! Who put you in charge anyway? I did. You got a problem with that? No, I was just wondering. Hey, is that girl single now? Focus, people. Let's keep moving. Come on, Dante. I'm hurt. I can't make it. Leave me behind. Okay. That's it? Yeah, what? You're just going to leave me? That's what you told me to do. I didn't mean it. Then why did you say it? I was hoping you'd pick me up and carry me or something. Oh, come on. You're not going to pick me up? Dante, listen to me. And listen to me carefully. When those zombies come to get you, the fact that you're a good-sized meal is going to keep them occupied for a while, so that the rest of us can get away. We'll remember you fondly. Can I take a lock of your hair to remember you by? I think my leg is feel feeling better. I can probably limp there. No, that's okay. No, I'm alright now. <clears throat> I can make it. See? I can walk. No, that ankle looks bad. You. You better take some weight off it. Sit down. Have a soda. 
wait for the end. I'm not going to do that. So let's just go. Alright, you're first. Ding. I, f I feel a little sick there. And that's what leadership is all about. Making tough choices. Moral of the story? Don't twist your ankle. I don't know that Anthony was a very good leader there. Method 2. Trick the zombies. And moving on. Method number 2. Trick the zombies. Trick zombies. Behold.